Welcome to this last video in the series on creating readable documents and in this video we'll talk about how to get there. So the place we need to start with is with the acknowledgement there is no such thing as perfect communication. Even such simple things as arrows can be confusing. So have a look at this picture and, uh, and ask yourselves which way would you turn the wheel when you, uh, when you get to the end of that road. So the arrow points right, and so perhaps the, the natural assumption should be that you need to turn your wheel right. But actually, if you look a bit more closely, you see this is in front of a roundabout in England. And in England, uh, in the UK, uh, that arrow means that you need to turn right after the roundabout, not into the roundabout. But if somebody isn't from this country, which is what happened to me when I first dri started driving in England, is that you have a tendency to want to immediately turn your wheel right. So, so, so actually, what that arrow means and, uh, and what it sort of indicates, it depends on the context, depends on your other understanding. So be careful about that. Now, the other thing to know about making things simpler is that, is that it's not always easier. And here I like this uh, famous quote that goes something like this, I wanted to write you a short letter, but I didn't have time, so I wrote you a long one instead. And it's uh, been attributed by Mar Mark Twain often, uh, but also by uh, Pascal, Locke, or uh, Franklin, or, or anybody else. But it doesn't matter. It really speaks a really important truth, is that, which is that simple and clear writing is not natural. When we write, we often slide into the habits of being very writerly, but, uh, but we, cannot, uh, that we, we cannot do that. We have to force ourselves to sort of go against our writing instincts. And so it becomes much harder and more time consuming uh, than the complicated writing that, that we're used to. So, uh, and the only way really to get through some, uh, through this is to work with somebody else. Very, uh, all the things that we, all the best writing that we know has always been done with the help of an editor, but we don't all have access to an editor. So I recommend finding a writing or formatting buddy, somebody who will take a glance at your documents and, and, and give you some advice. But it's important to have some, a good set of principles because the worst thing you can possibly do is, um, is simply give your document to somebody and they, they're going to give you a lot of suggestions based on what uh, they think might be good. But what you want to do is l work through a pseudo set of principles, agree on the target that you, for example, the readability score, and use checklists that you, you can go against. And so rather than just ask for general opinions, maybe give them a checklist. Could you check the documents against that, against that checklist? And of course, giving uh, sort of constructive feedback is always important because our writing is um, is very personal, so so no, people don't always like to like to see um, it through other people's eyes. But that it is it is very important. And uh, the, the the last bit of advice uh, is is about um, focus when you're working with somebody is don't end up speaking to an internal audience uh, just to take the boxes of what needs to be said. Very often, um, much of the text is speaking partly internally because people are concerned about what other people in their organization or other colleagues, peers, will think about what they wrote. So focus on what you uh, want to convey to the actual audience as opposed to some other audience who may also be reading your text. So uh, th that is um, the end of this series. Thank you very much. Uh, please do feel free to get in touch with me if you have any comments or suggestions. And uh, happy document formatting.